Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I, I really, really wanted to bring you guys a G100 video in GTA 5 today, but um, unfortunately, it doesn't work even in my test bench. I'll need to replace that motherboard on the test bench with another motherboard that actually can run the G100 and older GPUs because I'd love to take a look at them, you know? So, yeah, that's why we're testing the 1050 Ti today. You guys have been asking for a Red that to updated video on this GPU. We're running the latest NVIDIA drivers, 461.40. I am gonna overclock it a little bit. You know, this is the Strix version, so the cooler is absolutely great for overclocking. So plus 100 megahertz on a core clock and plus 200 megahertz on a memory clock. We're running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigs of RAM. You can get the same FPS with something like a Ryzen 3 3100 or even a Ryzen 5 1400. You don't need the 5900X, of course. And 16 or 12 gigabytes of RAM are also absolutely fine. So with that out of the way, let's get into to the game <laughs> and here we get what no this this can't be right this no this is a 1050 ti yeah, i thought this was a 1650 super which i'm gonna test tomorrow we are playing it at the 1080p resolution using the low settings right now with ultra textures the textures don't really impact your fps as long as you have enough vram by the way and everything is set to the low settings preset it's not on the minimum settings as you can see for example uh, but uh, it is on the uh, lowest preset right here let's play this game start counting the fps here it is looking good you know even on low settings this game looks really really nice in my opinion you could definitely have fun playing like this and there's roach come over here boy what is what are you doing why, why are you following the, the man uh, you you're mine roach you, you you don't understand you're mine anyways we're in saint denis which is the most intensive city in this game of course as you probably know uh, it's not really that much more intensive than out in the woods for example but it is slightly more intensive than that and uh, as we are on low settings you can definitely tell that the detail on the road especially and in the walls and stuff like that whenever things are far away from you it's pretty poor but I would say that it's completely playable and it still looks decent you can play like this if you're after that uh, smoother experience 40 plus FPS most of the time you can get it with the 1050 Ti as you can see the game isn't stuttering like at all which was what they improved the most coming from the previous update I don't think Roche likes me by the way I, I'm always pushing him to the max maybe today I won't do that okay just just be chill buddy I'm lying by the way let's get out of Saint Denis and see our FPS outside in the woods eat all right there you go all right I, I gave him food guys so here we are getting 40s again uh, slightly less intensive than in the city as I told you uh, but yeah, it looks decent. It looks even better here out in the woods than it did in the city because you can't really tell uh, that the detail is not really there in the ground at least. So yeah, because of all of the vegetation. Uh, yeah, going down into the high 30s, low 40s, pretty much the same thing as in Saint Denis. So this is why I... What did you do? Are you spider horse now? Spider horse. It's actually dropping a little bit more here than in Saint Denis, which is kind of interesting. I think that's what we've seen with the G TX 1650 as well if I'm not mistaken the 1030 was the one that did drop quite a bit inside of the city compared to here so yeah you can expect around like what 40 45 FPS average with a 1050 Ti on low settings and okay it's okay you know it's it's not the smoothest experience by any means but it's definitely playable for a game like this okay guys so we're at 1080p still of course that's the only resolution that we're testing in this one medium settings ultra textures still pretty much everything is set to medium as you can see i'm just gonna disable motion blur here we go settings are applied and look at that we're getting 30s like mid 30s it's not really that big of a drop roach get over here i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean to like touch your ass or something but okay 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 let's start counting our fps guys okay so out in the woods and in the swamp area uh, we're getting 37 fps average low 30s in the one percent lows jesus okay okay we're fine boy we're fine this is kind of surprising i was expecting a bigger drop in frames coming from low to medium because medium looks a lot better than low like that there's a huge difference when it comes to graphical quality and uh, by the way the fog effect doesn't really do much to your fps it, it stays about the same I think it might actually be just a little bit more intensive right now it, it has cleared up a little bit and it's we're getting more FPS but 
yeah, it, it's it's running really, really well for a 1050 Ti. You can lock the FPS to 30, play with a controller and have a console-like experience. I even think that these medium settings actually look a little bit better, just a little bit better than the Xbox One X settings that we're going to test here in this video as well. So... Uh, yeah, they're usually just a tiny bit more intensive, these settings, than the Xbox One X. So it's good to see that the 1050 Ti is doing a much better job compared to what it was capable of like a year ago. I am really impressed, my friends, I gotta say. Uh, it might also be just a little bit because of the overclock. The overclock might be uh, giving us slightly more FPS, maybe like two to three more frames. So uh, make sure you overclock your 1050 Ti if you're playing this game on medium to be sure that you're above 30 fps 100 of the time 34 degrees celsius holy crap it's hot here in saint denis eat a little bit more roach okay you're fine the center of it oh whoa, what the heck what that happened because of this crap are you serious Oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't go this way. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna run somebody over and they are gonna kill me. Like, all of them. Get out, people. Get out. Get out of the way. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> yep, that's murder, definitely. Okay. Yeah, oh my gosh. So many red points in the map right now. That's that's awful. Okay, okay. So, at least we're here. You know. Oh, no. God damn it. It is completely playable. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. This, yep. Okay, so the the 1050 Ti on high, it just it just can't do it, guys. Although the frame times are pretty consistent and it, it doesn't stutter and it feels still it feel it still you know what it feels okay. I I don't know, man. I just this game they did something weird to the frame times. They're very very consistent. But anyways, uh, these are the high settings now. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time here on high, you know, because it's not really that playable. But uh, as you can see, a lot of the things are on high. Some things are on ultra. Some things are on medium. So it averages to high. These are not the same high settings from the 570 video or the 1650 video because this game has different presets for different cards, which is is very weird but uh yep it, it does that uh where's roach by the way hey it's, it's becoming more intensive all right all right yeah maybe the, the vegetation on high settings is extremely intensive it does look really beautiful though but yeah i wouldn't play like this just play on medium settings it already looks really beautiful and you get always above 30 fps so there's no point in doing this you know i'm gonna stop it right there okay these are the xbox one x settings at 1080p resolution of course the console itself runs it at 4k instead of 1080p but uh, it runs it at these graphical settings that you're seeing right now and uh yeah let's let's get into it once again okay here we go friends and as you can see it is running slightly better than medium we're almost getting the same fps as low settings to be honest and it looks way better right now so uh yeah th there's that my friends you can definitely play this game absolutely fine on xbox one x settings i i'd probably play like this uh, if not at medium you know I, I think i still do think that medium looks slightly better all right oh boy it's actually dropping over here 34 33 yeah okay it's it's still good you know it's it's still a console like experience basically if you plug a controller into your pc and lock the fps to 30 it's basically a, an xbox one x running at 1080p instead of 4k so it's good to see that the 1050 ti is actually capable of doing this because coming into this i thought that this will actually get 30 fps on average at these settings not 37 uh, and certainly not 30 plus especially in saint denis so it's awesome it's awesome that they actually optimized this game to the point where it is playable even at medium settings on a 1050 ti 1080p it's a shame that it can't really do 60 for that you need like the 1650 on low settings um but yeah it's it's completely playable zero stutters as well and again you can run the game absolutely fine even with a ryzen 3 1200 i said ryzen 5 1400 but i remember that this game isn't really cpu intensive at all which uh, wasn't the case when this game released as well thank you very much for watching this one hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was informative for you i'm sorry i couldn't bring you guys a g100 video today but uh hopefully that will come next week with face cam and everything you know so thanks for watching and thanks for being here love you all bye bye